you know, there's always a tension in Jewish life between maintaining a certain kind of Jew Jewish particularism and Jewish, um, and trying to show that we're just like anybody else. You know, today there's like Jewish hipsterism too, you know, and to try and show that we're just as hip as anybody. And I think for myself, I was, at a very, very young age, I wasn't attracted because there were, that was still an era when, especially for boys, I think, boys and girls, there was this idea that there was somehow something negative about being kind of like an Ashkenazi Jew from um, a particular kind of background or whatever. And a lot of people, and for a lot of people in the old days, the solution to that was assimilationism or conversion. As, and conversion at that time, you know, was, the idea was for that reason. As when I used to, when we used to hear stories of conversion in the house, my mother would get very upset. She would say, like, I'm a shimid, shmedilnikis. My father would shrug his shoulders and he would just say, I'd say a story, so you hear like so-and-so converted. And my father would just shrug his shoulders and say, you know, you want to work your way up. You want to have a higher status. That's it. People do this kind of thing. But for another people, for another group of kids, especially young kids, Zionism represented this kind of thing. Uh, with Zionism, you could be just as tough. You could be just as, as, as uh, no one could, would pick on you. No one could make fun of you. I had a friend who went to Israel, and he used to, like, uh, when he would come back here to visit, he used to say, you know, in Israel, you have rock music in Hebrew. You know, the idea was to show you could be just like anybody else. To me, I was always, I always had this, even though I was a, played sports all the time, I used to get into fights a lot when I was a kid, I still was not attracted to that kind of like super macho culture. And I wasn't ashamed of being Jewish. I thought my, it was great. My father was like a Jewish proletarian and all this kind of stuff. I was really attracted to their values. So more and more I saw my Jewishness as being represented for Correctly or incorrectly, because in Yiddish there's everything, you know, it's, we shouldn't stereotype. But I saw it involved in Yiddish and in, in, um, in um, the world around Yiddish. And so more and more I became attracted to Yiddish. Um, for many years I, I put it away, I wouldn't say I put it away, but I was so involved with like political activism and stuff like that, that it was always in the background. But like in my but psychologically it was always in the foreground.